Greeting students. Today we are going to learn about one of USA's leading electric company, Amazon.com. Let us know this company in a much better way. Amazon.com Inc. is an American international multi-billion dollar electronic commerce company with headquarters in Seattle, Washington, United States. It is the world's largest online retailer. Amazon.com started as an online bookstore but soon diversified selling DVDs, VHS series, video and MP3 downloads, streaming, software, video games, electronics, apparel, furniture, food, toys and jewelry. The company also produces consumer electronics, notably the Amazon Kindle ebook reader and the Kindle Fire tablet computer and is a major provider of cloud computing services. Jeff Bezos incorporated the company as Cadabra in July 1994 and the site went online as Amazon.com in 1995. The company was renamed after the Amazon River, one of the largest rivers in the world, which in turn was named after the Amazons, the legendary nation of female warriors in Greek mythology. The largest of Amazon's distribution centers, obviously an important day for Amazon, and a really important, obviously maybe the most important part of their business next to the website itself. I mean, Amazon has 80 distribution centers, four and 40 in the U.S., and uh, this is the largest of them here in, in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, 1.2 million square feet. I want to visually take you through some of the things that you see just from right here, uh, my vantage point here, up above this factory, or this distribution center or, or, or fulfillment center, as they call it, Amazon speak. What you see behind me, those little colors back there, are row upon row upon row of all the kinds of random stuff sold by Amazon. There is no particular order to the way those things are stuffed on those shelves. They come in off of trucks uh, as they're lined up down the block here in Phoenix, Arizona, taken off, unpacked, and stowed by hand and scanned with little scanners, put in all these shelves. And as we pull back here and start to see some of the workers, Amazon brings in 50,000 seasonal workers here to work in, in uh, fulfillment centers such as this. And then they go out with these scanners row by row and pick, looking at the orders as they come into their scanner and find these items put them all together in discrete groupings to be mailed off to the customers, and then they go on to assembly lines and go through a packing uh, sorting process, get wrapped up, put in boxes, and sped through a conveyor belt system onto trucks and mailed uh, back to shoppers back at home. The numbers are simply amazing here. Uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, they've added so many distribution centers this year. When I stood here a year ago, the company had 69 distribution centers. They are spending, as I said, they have 80 now, so they're spending billions to get to this point, this company is in expansion mode. Of the, of the uh, capital expenditures of the last five years, over 20% has happened in the last year. So they are building out this business. If you think of CapEx as a way, as sort of a forward-looking indicator, as big as this business has become, they're planning on becoming a lot bigger and investing really heavily right now to get large. So the distribution centers like this all over the world. The company was founded in 1994, spurred by what Bezos called his regret minimization framework, which described his efforts to fend off any regrets for not participating sooner in the internet business boom during that time. In 1994, Bezos left his employment as vice president of D.E. Shaw, a Wall Street firm, and moved to Seattle. He began to work on a business plan for what would eventually become Amazon.com Barnes and Nobel sued Amazon on May 12, 1997, alleging that Amazon's claim to be the world's largest bookstore was false. Barnes and Noble asserted it isn't a bookstore at all. It's a book broker. The suit was later settled out of court and Amazon continued to make the same claim. Walmart sued Amazon on October 16, 1998, alleging that Amazon had stolen their trade secrets by hiring former Walmart executives. 
although this suit was also settled out of court. It caused Amazon to implement internal restrictions and the reassignment of the former Walmart executives. Until June 30, 2006, typing toys use.com into a browser would bring up Amazon's .com's toys and games tab. However, this relationship was terminated due to a lawsuit. Amazon also hosted and managed the website for borders, bookstores, but this ceased in 2008. From 2001 until August 2011, Amazon hosted the retail website for Target. Benefit Cosmetics, another merchant partner of Amazon, has also launched a major e-commerce platform of their own based on Hybris and Errato Systems NA in the US, EU and China. The company's global headquarters are in 14 buildings in Seattle's South Lake Union neighborhood. The European headquarters are in Luxembourg's capital, Luxembourg City. The Seattle, as of 2013, a three-tower headquarters near Amazon's existing buildings with a capacity of 12,000 employees was under construction. Fulfillment centers are located in the following cities, often near airports. These centers also provide warehousing and order fulfillment for third-party sellers. Warehouses are large and each has hundreds of employees. Employees are responsible for four basic tasks. Unpacking and inspecting incoming goods, placing goods in storage and recording their location, picking goods from their computer recorded locations to make up an individual shipment and shipping. These U.S. distribution centers have been closed. SDC Seattle Distribution Center, located in Georgetown, just south of downtown Seattle, Red Rock, Nevada, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, Munster, Indiana, and McDonough, Georgia. From 2000 until February 2001, there was an Amazon customer service based in The Hague, Netherlands. The domain Amazon.com attracted at least 615 million visitors annually by 2008, twice the number of Walmart. Amazon attracts approximately 65 million customers to its US website per month. The company has also invested heavily on a massive amount of server capacity for its website, especially to handle the excessive traffic during the December Christmas holiday season. In addition to Amazon.com, there are different versions of Amazon for several different countries, each varying in assortment and prices. Search inside the book is a feature which allows customers to search for keywords in the full text of many books in the catalog. The feature started with 120 lakh titles or 33 million pages of text on October 23, 2003. There are currently about 3 lakh books in the program. Amazon has cooperated with around 130 publishers to allow users to perform these searches. To avoid copyright violations, Amazon.com does not return the computer-readable text of the book. Instead, it returns a picture of the matching page, instructs the web browser to disable printing, and puts limits on the number of pages in a book a single user can access. Additionally, customers can purchase online access to some of the same books via the Amazon Upgrade program. Over the last decade, Amazon has developed a customer base around 30 million people. Amazon.com is primarily a retail site with a sales revenue model. Amazon makes it money by taking a small percentage of the sale price 
of each item that is sold through its website. Amazon also allows companies to advertise their products by paying to be listed as featured products. In Q1 2012, Amazon reported a loss due to its stake in Living Social. Amazon has attracted widespread criticism by both current and former employees as well as the media and politicians for poor working conditions. In fall 2011, it was publicized that at the Allentown, Pennsylvania warehouse, workers had to carry out work in 100 degree Fahrenheit, that is 38 degrees Celsius heat, resulting in employees becoming extremely uncomfortable and suffering from dehydration and collapse. Loading bay doors were not open to allow in fresh air as managers were worried about theft. Amazon's initial response was to pay for an ambulance to sit outside on call to cart away overheated employees. Some workers, pickers who travel the building with a trolley and a handheld scanner picking customers' orders can walk up to 15 miles a day back and forward and if they fall behind on their targets, they can be reprimanded. The handheld scanners feed back to the employee real-time information on how fast or slowly they are going and also serve to allow team leads and area managers to track the specific locations of employees and how much idle time they gain when not working. In a German television report broadcast, in February 2013, journalists Dinah Lobel and Peter Oniken conducted a covert investigation at the distribution center of Amazon in the town of Bad Hersfeld in the German state of Hesse. The report highlights the behavior of some of the security guards who apparently either had a neo-Nazi background or deliberately dressed in neo-Nazi apparel and who were intimidated foreign and temporary female workers at its distribution centers. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Amazon.com. Hope the information about the company was useful to you. Have a nice day. Goodbye.